So as a content creator or someone looking to break into the space, having the right equipment is essential for producing high quality videos. Although it's easy to get wrapped up into thinking you need the best to get started, myself included, not everyone has thousands of dollars to spend on equipment. I'm going to show you how you can get started with a setup that won't break the bank, but will still give you the ability to produce some top quality content. Let's take a look. First part of any YouTuber setup on a budget would be the camera. Because let's face it, if you don't have one of these guys, you won't be posting anything. No, but all jokes aside, a good camera is essential for producing high quality videos. But with that said, you don't need to have the fancy cinema cameras like the Black Magics or the Reds, or even just the high-end mirrorless that you see most YouTubers using. You can get a great camera for YouTube like the Canon M50 or the Sony ZV-1 for around five, 600 bucks or so. These cameras are affordable and produce great quality videos. They have a little flip out screen which is great for vlogging if that's your thing, or just to check and make sure you're in frame when recording. In fact, I'm sure most of you watching this have a smartphone in your pocket that can record in 4K, which is plenty for filming YouTube videos. That's actually what I'm recording this video on right now. I have an iPhone 15 Pro Max that I use as my main camera, also known as the A-cam, and sometimes I'll set up my old iPhone or a Canon 70D as my B-cam, just to capture a different angle, like this one here. All right, so now that we've discussed what you're gonna capture the video with, we should really talk about how you're gonna get a steady shot. Next item I would recommend when building this kit would be a tripod. A tripod is essential for keeping your camera steady and preventing that shaky handheld footage. You definitely don't have to drain the bank account on a tripod though. You can get a decent tripod for under $100 and it's pretty much identical to all the more expensive well-known name brands out there. One great option and one that I personally use if I have my phone set up on this one right now is the Trim 80 inch lightweight tripod. This tripod is affordable, has a 360 degree swivel ball head, adjustable legs, and comes with a travel bag making it easy to take with you on the go. It's made of a high quality aluminum and can support a total tripod weight of, I think it was 33, 35 pounds, somewhere around there. Way more than you'll need for a camera. You can actually set up lighting for free using a shower curtain and a home light, or you can go out and spend thousands on an aperture lighting setup. It's totally up to you. I like to recommend the Mount Dog Softbox Lighting Kit for people new to lighting, so they're not heavily invested, but they have something that can work. You can usually pick that up for right around $50 to $75 or so, depending on what's running on Amazon for the sales. This light is affordable and produces a quality light source for your videos without spending excessively. And that's the whole point of this video, to make this uh, YouTube studio on a budget. This kit comes with a 45 watt LED bulb, the stand, a soft box, a remote, so you can adjust things on the fly, a carrying case to take it with you on the go, and so much more. Sure, it's not gonna produce the quality or softness of an aperture light, but it comes in at literally a fraction of the cost of those studio lights. I mean, if you wanna grab an Aperture 300D, a soft box, rolling seat stands, sandbags, and all that other stuff, you're looking at over $1,200 for a key light. Trust me, this is more than enough to start a YouTube channel. One thing you generally shouldn't cheat out on is your lighting and your sound. Having quality sound can be the difference if someone's watching your video or not. And let me know in the comments below, Another quality option you can go with, and I hear a lot of people recommend, is the D80-D4 mic. If you do end up picking up that D80-D4, let me know in the comments below how it is. Now if you're looking for something more like on-the-go setup, I would highly recommend looking into Rode or AGI mics. They make some great options, they can be a little bit more pricey, but they're definitely quality mics. Okay, so let's talk about something that's often overlooked, and that's your background for your set. Your background is important because it can help set the tone videos really draw your viewers in just to make it look you know that much more professional when thinking about your set you can use things you already have around your house you know some art lights or even a blank wall now this part is going to take some experimenting to find out what you like what your personality your content and so on so don't be afraid to try a few different things out i don't know if you've seen my other previous videos but if you have you can see that i'm actually experimenting with my set as well now i typically don't like to that's something you want, a great option is the Lumo Studio green screen backdrop. This 
backdrop is affordable and it's easy to use and comes with a stand, making it easy to set up. So we now have all the pieces of the equation when it comes to producing the content, which leaves us with the editing. So let's jump in and talk some editing software. After you've shot your video, you're going to need to edit it and piece it all together. There are a lot of different editing software options out there, but the most commonly used are Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut. Adobe Premiere and Final Cut are both paid programs, whereas DaVinci Resolve has a free version that does basically 99% of editing you'll ever need. If you're really into color theory, DaVinci Resolve is the one for you. It's in a league all on its own when it comes to color grading. These are all professional level editing softwares, so if that's not your thing or seeing all those buttons on the interface kind of freaks you out, you can go with something like Blue Infusion or even CapCut for a more toned down version of software. So that should get you well on your way to creating a YouTube setup on a budget. Sure, it's nice to have all the latest and greatest, but you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on equipment to produce high quality videos. With the right equipment and a little creativity, you can create amazing content for your viewers, and they'll love it because there's a story behind it that's more meaningful. Thanks for watching.